All right, so today is October 8th, 2024. We're going to be playing some clips from this video, Timothy Dixon. You can see the title. It's about 8.30 in the morning as I'm doing this. So Timothy put this out about two hours ago. And so I've edited the clips down. And so we just get to what he's claiming here. We're going to listen to this and then I'll meet you on the other side. Here we go. I saw helicopters flying around with baskets under their helicopter. There was food supplies being dropped off on the ground. I, I, I saw this vision on when we had went to North Carolina revival up there with Pastor Keith. We was on a pontoon boat and we saw a particular place we'd went up there and to eat on the the lake, rented that pontoon and we was on it and several of us was on it. I went to a vision and I seen the houses washed down off the banks into the river upside that bridge. And That was something I told Pastor Keith. I said, what would a hurricane be doing up this far? But we've seen it. we surely, surely seen it. And... If I looked as the food was being dropped out everywhere on the ground, I knew that it was just it was a, some kind of great calamity, and that the higher up people from Washington was not doing anything to help. Of all that was taking place, they were doing very little. I want to put a, a picture in right here that was sent to me by Pastor Keith. Um, it is a picture of the where I've seen the vision at and the, the little restaurant that we ate at. In, in that particular place, um, there were several people on the boat that day as a witness uh, of this vision before the storm ever, before the hurricane ever hit. But it's, it's a, God shows you these things to let you know that he's speaking to you. And that he's showing you things sometimes. And I've said it, the messages I've preached. Sometimes God don't have anything to do with things, but sometimes God does. You've got to sort out whether it was a Sodom and Gomorrah or it wasn't. Take a look at this picture real quick and we'll come right back to you. Praise God. Them pictures you just seen was where we were when we seen the vision of, of what you just saw. And and uh, then Timothy Dixon is absolutely shameless and, quite frankly, evil. This is so heartless. On top of being a false prophet several times over, his only goal here is to plead with the listener, try to convince them that he's a prophet. That's what this video is all about.
Never mind the hundreds of thousands of people who have lost everything in Hurricane Helene. Those who are suffering with great anguish, they've lost everything. The best that Dixon can do here, well, he can sit down at his desk and hit record and make a video as he tries to convince everyone that he's a prophet. He had this vision prophecy long ago. So Dixon is using this opportunity to gain credibility. And of course, this will up the donations as well, because actually people are going to believe that this is real. His followers will believe that this is real. It's all about Timothy Dixon, friends. He is doing this to exalt himself and try to gain credibility. It's so evil. The other disturbing aspect of all of this is that if you believe that this vision, this prophecy vision was truly from God Almighty, then you have to believe that, well, this is the Word of God. And what did he do with that Word of God? Well, he sat on it. He didn't warn anybody in North Carolina, in all the other states that were affected by Hurricane Helene. He didn't tell anybody. He could have saved all those lives, right? He could have saved possibly millions in losses because people could have prepped if they would have just heard this prophecy from Timothy Dixon, but he chose not to deliver it, therefore actually not doing what God gave him this vision to do. After all, what would be the point of it? He sat on it. He did nothing with it. To me, this would be defiance of God Almighty, if you believe that this was true. And so, again, either way you look at this, this man did evil. It doesn't add up, and so we can easily continue to conclude that Timothy Dixon is abhorrent and that he is not of God. He uses the name of Jesus Christ to only exalt himself. What a travesty.